Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm gonna to be talking about a brand that I did a video on quite a while back now and it's Ultra Violette. And Ultra Violette are an Australian skincare SPF brand. I wanted to show you a few items that I have picked up from them. Kind of wanted to show you if you're going on holiday perhaps, what you could take with you or use because this brand is very very good what i wanted to do i've got a fresh face i've just got skincare on and i've got their sunscreen here which you'll probably remember when i did a video a while back i did a review on their sunscreens and today i'm going to do something a little bit more makeup content related because they have makeup as well i wanted to put this on for you first this is their spf 50 supreme screen hydrating facial sunscreen it's almost finished i've got so many backup cups of this because I really love their products. I have been told that this is the correct way to put sunscreen on which is two lines like that on your fingers. So what I'm going to do now is put that on my skin. Always put your sunscreen on, really really important. I'm not actually going out later but I wanted to put this on because the instructions for the skincare that I'm going to show you ask for this to be put on first and I wanted to show you how it would look if you had the sunscreen on then the makeup that they have on top. It's really lovely this sunscreen as you can see it doesn't leave a white cast at all and it's probably one of my favourite sort of western brands for sunscreen. My love of sunscreen is probably for K-Beauty because I have a lot of sunscreens from K-Beauty brands. My most used one is Beauty of Joseon and it's just this amazing SPF that just melts into your skin and although this doesn't have the same sort of texture it feels really lovely on the skin so I've put this all over my face. It's pretty glowy now. But so the products I want to show you is their Ultra Violet Daydream Screen Tinted Veil and it's SPF 50 and it's 50 mil and I have been colour matched to the shade V8. They had a pop-up that I went to. It was really good pop-up that showed all the kind of makeup products that they had and I've also got the V's Dream Sponge which was like a gift with purchase. It's used to apply the Ultra Violet Daydream Screen so I thought I'd use them together. Whether you're applying Dream Screen Tinted Veil or reapplying your favourite sunscreen V's got you covered. They use V's Dream Sponge Dry to gently tap or buff the product into your skin for perfect coverage and a flawless finish. They advise you to use this dry, 24 hour cream hydration, very high protection, do not stay too long in the sun, even while wearing a sunscreen product. But it's a cream hydrated tint with UVB, UVA. This is the colour that I was colour matched to. Give it a good shake before I apply it. So it comes in a sort of plastic dispenser. So really easy to carry around with you if you're on a holiday. Feels quite light, so it won't take up too much weight in your bag. And I think this would be really nice to give your skin a lovely kind of tint. So let's see how this looks. This is the sponge. It's got a furry overcoat. It's really strange. I think it's because you have to use it dry. So let me show you what it looks like. You've got the plastic dispenser there and this is the sponge that they recommend you try. It's not thin, which is great. I don't really like a thin, too thin consistency. But I like that so far. Okay, so let's start applying it. So I'm just dabbing it onto my skin just to get some coverage and it's a really good colour match, I can see already. I'll do a hand swatch for you shortly. This is the kind of coverage that I'd want on holiday that is quite light, but still gives me some kind of coverage during the day. That looks nice so far. Feels really lovely. I might go in with a tad bit more. So I've just given the bottle another squeeze and I'm just going in into the middle part of my face where I like the most sort of coverage. So that was the second sort of squeezy part. You can see the colour slightly just on my forehead here, but I'm just blending it into my skin, but it's still a really good match. To be honest, like my forehead's always going to be slightly darker than the rest of my face, but it's just nice to have 
coverage. So I definitely feel like this is something I can take on holiday. That feels nice. Doesn't feel heavy. And I'm just blending it into my skin. Don't forget your ears. I like the fact this also has SPF in it as well. So I'm just going over the areas where I like my coverage. Do you know what? That actually looks really, really nice. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit. I'm just gonna show you a hand swatching so you can see what it looks like. But the sponge works really well to distribute the product. And I'm liking the coverage that it's giving me. So there is the hand swatch. I'll just rub it into my skin a little bit. But you can see that it's a very nice shade, good match. So this is the finished look with the product all over my face. So I'm just gonna let that sit. So I'm now gonna show you the two other sort of beauty products that they've launched as part of their range. I haven't talked about these because I kind of just picked them up not that long ago. So I've got the Ultraviolet SPF 50 Queen Screen Super Glow Drops, which are bronzing. And then I've got the SPF 50 Queen Screen Super Glow Drops Illuminating. So one's meant to be like a bronzer and one's meant to be like an illuminator. And I just wanted to show you how it looks on my skin. There is only one shade of each, so you won't have to worry about which shade to pick with this one. Um, so we're going to start off with the bronzer first because I'm really intrigued to see how this looks and at the back it says here mix into or layer on top of your preferred daily SPF can be used over the full face for a glow or to highlight or contour. So it comes in this sort of dispenser so it's definitely one that might not be something you carry around because it's a little bit heavier it's the same size as the queen screen which is another variant of their spfs and it comes in a glass bottle and this is a glass bottle so the other one is better for carrying around i don't know whether this is something you'd want to carry around as much let's take a look it's got a dropper so we're going to take a look at the shades let's look at it on the hands i'm going to show you this as a hand swatch so this is the hand swatch and you can see that if i just blend it out a tad it's not that dark so i'm tempted to use it like a glow product because it's not going to really show as much on my skin if i use it like a contour but we'll try and we'll see where we go So I'm quite intrigued by this. I'm going to take the side here that I haven't used to use this product and I'm just gonna pat it on just initially because I just wanna see how it looks. So you can see it's not that deep. I might add a little bit more. I'm just tapping it in, trying to use it as like a kind of contour bronzer. So it's not doing like a major amount, but you can see that there's color there. My initial thoughts were I was just gonna mix it with my foundation, but I've already put the foundation on, so I'm gonna use it more as a contour shade and a kind of bronzer. But you can see it there. I'm just gonna see if I can put it on this side too. I'm just gonna add a little bit more, just build it up on the other side as well. I feel like this needs to be built up. You can definitely see it. I see the shade being more of a contour than a bronzer because it's not that warm. It's more like a kind of cool tone shade, but. So I've kind of gone into the areas where I would use it. I just wanted to show you what you can do. You know, you can keep building, which I might just do one more and see how I'd like to use it. So I'm just taking the product and just dabbing it where I want that sort of look. I'm a medium skin tone and, you know, I don't know if this is gonna show on a darker skin tone, so maybe they need to bring out some more shades. Just as a bronzer or a kind of contour, it works pretty well. So that's with the bronzer shade, Illuminating Drops. I'm just gonna try one last thing. I don't normally do this, but I just wanna get 
the colour a bit more intense here, so I'm using the dropper. Don't do this if you're using someone else's, obviously if you're using your own, it's fine. But yeah, I think just getting that a little bit darker, that's a bit better. You're just kind of giving it a bit of a shadow where you want it to go. And that's what I'm kind of doing with this. That is the bronzing drops. Okay, so I've done my bronzing now and we're gonna move into the Super Glow Drops Illuminating ones. The other one has pink at the top, this one has orange. There is a difference between the two. So that's what it looks like up close, just to compare. That's the Illuminating Bronzing Drops, which has the pink top. And then this is the Illuminating Drops, the glow one with the orange top. So I think the first thing to do is let's do a little bit of a hand swatch so you can see. This is how it looks on the hand. You can see it's a lot lighter and is more of an illuminator. Okay, so I have the illuminating drops here. So I'm gonna take my finger and place it where I want the illuminating to happen, which is usually like on my cheekbone there. And then maybe here. And I'll take this sponge and use the part that hasn't been used and just tap it in the areas where I'd like it to be a little bit more glowy. I can definitely see the glow. A little bit on my cupid's bow. And just where I like the skin to glow. That does look pretty. I like the way it catches the light. And then just blend it out with your finger. Just wanna make sure that the product just going where you'd like it to go. I think that's really cute, actually. It's a lovely glow. So this is how I would kind of like wear my makeup during the day if I was on holiday, because I don't really like to put a lot of stuff on unless I'm going out for dinner in the evening. But I thought I'd show you this last product. It's one of their SPF. 50 sheen screen hydrating lip balms and it's in the shade bejeweled and i got this as part of caroline hyron's travel kit it's a lip balm but it's got a tint and it's a really lovely tint so i'm going to show you the shade so this is bejeweled and it's kind of got this lovely pinky shade to it very very pretty and i'm going to put this on my lips now and just finish the look off This does come in lots of different shades, but this is a really pretty shade. So let's put this on. And it's just nice because it's got a little bit of a hint of color. I like the applicator as well. And that is the finished look using all ultraviolet products. And it's such a lovely shade. So that is Bejeweled and we have finished the look. This might be something to inspire you to pick up if you were going away. So I just wanted to show you this. So that is everything. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on the products. As you know, I'm an ultraviolet stan and I have supported them since they came to the UK with regards to their sunscreen. So the sunscreen, I will give it 10 out of 10. I love the sunscreen. The light veil foundation that I've got on is really nice actually. It doesn't feel heavy. As it says on the tin, it's like a tint, it's a veil, it's light. And actually I'm quite excited to take this on holiday with me because it's quite light to carry and I like the fact that it's given me a nice sort of color without being too much. The bronzer, I would say is more like a contour than a bronzer just because of the shade. I wish the containers were made of plastic rather than the glass because I can't carry it around with me. So I'll have to decanter it into a little container if I wanna take it on holiday because it's really lovely to use, but I can't carry the bottles because they're gonna to be too heavy. So I wish they were in a lighter container. With regards to the illuminating drops, 
that are like the highlighter. I really like that. You can see that it's really showing through my skin and I'm excited to use the bronzer more like a kind of tint. So I might mix it together with the tint that I already have and just give myself some color when I'm abroad and I start to tan. The lip product is really, really cute. I love the shade. I love sort of the shades that they have at the moment as well. I know they do limited edition shades, so look out for that as well. That's my little ultraviolet review. Please let me know your thoughts, your comments. Have you used this brand before? Do you like their products? I know it's sold everywhere at the moment. I know it's sold in Space and K in the UK at the moment, but they also have their own website as well, so you can buy things from there. Please let me know your thoughts, your comments. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.